everyone, I'm Sarah, and today I'll be taking you through the history of women's suffrage. Let's begin. The first convention, national convention for women's rights was held in Seneca Falls in 1848. This was mostly led by Elizabeth Cady Stanton and the famous Susan B. Anthony. Elizabeth Cady Stanton and Susan B. Anthony were part of a group that rivaled another suffragette group led by Lucy Stone. These two were always somewhat at odds until 1890 when they came together to form NASA, the National American Women's Suffrage Association. They banded together, and Susan B. Anthony was their main mouthpiece. Some early suffragettes would try to vote, including Susan B. Anthony, who was arrested for doing this in 1872. Another group, the NWA, had over 200 of their supporters, known as the Silent Sentinels, be arrested for picketing the White House and some going on hunger strike in 1917. However, finally, in 1920, the 19th Amendment was passed, giving women the right to vote. Hooray! So without these fierce gals, we probably wouldn't have the amount of rights that we do today. The fight's not over yet, though. Women still don't make the same amount of money that men do for doing the same job, and violence and abuse against women is advocated in our day-to-day -day popular media. So stay fierce, and don't stop fighting for your rights. Bye, everyone, and don't forget to subscribe.